Tucker Carlson's coverage of the previously unreleased January 6th video has had a few weeks to sink in, and it's time to see where we're at. But first, recall from the beginning of March that the overwhelming majority of U.S. likely voters thought it was important that all of the videos of the Capitol riot be released to the public. 80% said important, and 58% of them said very important. Only 6% said not at all important. By party, 86% of Republicans said it was important, but also 75% of independents and 78% of Democrats. And these people really wanted to see the results because they don't believe the official narrative. Now, from this slide, 49% of Democrats say it's very important for the videos to be released. But among those who say it's very important that the videos are released to the public, 78% said it's likely that undercover federal agents helped provoke the Capitol riot. And only 13% said not likely, just 6% of whom said not at all likely. So the people who really want the video released seem to think it will implicate the feds, even most Democrats. Now, interestingly, since we reported on that last question set, I think a sum total of zero seconds of additional video have been released. What happened, Tucker? How's it coming along, Kevin McCarthy? Well, anyway, here are the latest results. Have the new videos of the Capitol riot made you more likely or less likely to think Trump supporters were engaged in an illegal insurrection? 32% of voters said more likely, and also 32% said less likely. 36% of voters are either not sure or the videos didn't change their minds. Now, I'm not really surprised by these results. This is a Trump question, and the nation seems to consistently be pretty equally split when it comes to Trumpism. This has happened time and time again in our polling. And the truth is, the country has had quite a bit of time to form an opinion on the riot. And I suspect a couple nightly segments on Fox News never really had a chance to break through that shell. Here are the party numbers, however, and 41% of Republicans say they're less likely to think the Capitol riot was a Trumpian insurrection. A combined 71% say either less likely or the video hasn't changed their opinions. 25% of Republicans actually say they're more likely to think this was an illegal insurrection. But there's always been about 25% of Republicans that found the events of that day repugnant. Democrats say more likely over less likely, but only 45% to 24%. But independents are the other way around. 32% say less likely, and only 24% say more likely. These numbers are pretty tepid, and I think what you're seeing here is that regardless of what the video showed, and regardless of whether they watched them all or not, nonetheless, Trump supporters were there on video, and that event was pretty effectively burned into the psyche of America. In fact, five months after the riot, a plurality of voters, 44%, stunningly said that the January 6th riot at the Capitol was, quote, the worst attack on our democracy since the Civil War. That included 26% of Republicans. Here are the numbers by Biden approval. And I guess these numbers mostly just serve to show you how much more divided the results are becoming here than by party. 60% of Biden's strong approvers said more likely and only 11% said less likely. 53% of Biden's strong disapprovers said more likely and only 8% said less likely. Though I think it's important to notice how much closer the somewhat approvers are to the strong approvers than the somewhat disapproves are to the strongly disapproves. The disapproves used to be a much more cohesive block earlier in Biden's term. Likely those people have either shifted to become strong disapprovers though the overall number of them is down, or they've shifted to approvers or even dropped out of the poll entirely, at least for now. But if the release of the video has had an indeterminate effect on people's opinions about the Trump supporters perpetrating the Capitol riot, then what's the headline? Well, the video has people even more convinced that the event was provoked by undercover agents. 65% of voters now say it's likely, up from 61% just six weeks ago, and 46% say very likely, up an incredible seven points from 39% just six weeks ago. That's a really huge pickup. Only 26% say it's not likely now, and just 12 of them say not at all likely. That's down six points from 18% six weeks ago. So to me, here's the biggest headline. Only one quarter of U.S. voters think it's not likely that feds provoked the Capitol riot. Here are the party numbers. 74% of Republicans say it's likely, including now 60% who say very likely. That's up nine points from the beginning of March. Roughly the same number of Republicans, 19%, however, are still holding out on this. 
But now, 62% of independents think it's likely, up 5 points, and 44% say very likely, and that's up a whopping 11 points. Only 25% of independents think it's not likely that undercover government agents help provoke the Capitol riot. And if that isn't an astounding lack of faith in the government coming from the politically unaffiliated, I don't know what is. Democrats now slightly more say that it's likely, but their biggest shift is that the previous 23% who said it's not at all likely are now only 15%. But check this out. Those who are very closely or somewhat closely following news about Tucker's new Capitol riot videos are much more likely than those who aren't to think that the undercover agents provoked the riot. And of those who are not at all following the story, a plurality say it isn't likely the government agents provoked the riot. And even more interesting, even among those who say the new videos make them more likely to think Trump supporters were engaged in an illegal insurrection, 59% say it's at least somewhat likely that federal agents provoked the riot. Now, as we said previously, there are likely some people who are happy the riot was provoked by feds. But here's my takeaway in this video. The people who are watching this closely already have pretty entrenched opinions about Trump supporter involvement. My advice for future coverage, focus on the feds. Thanks for sticking with us till now. If you like our videos, please follow us on Twitter, subscribe on YouTube or Rumble, like the video, and thanks for watching.